By the end of this video, you'll be able to export your MuseScore Studio file into an MP3 audio. So when you're working in MuseScore, you may have noticed that there is audio associated with your music notation. So the audio is on the top right hand side of your screen. And again, I can press this play button and it will play this score. So you can see I have a couple of notes for violin. And so that audio can be exported into an MP3 file. So in order to do that, one thing I want to make sure in this score, you notice I have a lot of rests or a lot of uh, measures that are blank. Uh, so when you export, it will ex export all of the blank rests too. So I'll add a lot of extra time on this. So what I want to do is delete those first. So first thing I'm going to do is just delete that. So again, let me just right click here and I will delete those measures. So now I've got just the portion of the audio that I want to export. So once you have the audio the way you would like it to export, you want to go to the top left hand side of your screen. And then you're going to want to click on file and then you're going to go down to where it says export. So left click on export and that will bring up a dialog box in the middle of your screen. And you have several options when it comes to exporting your file. One thing that you can do is you can export either the main score or the parts. So you notice I have a violin and piano part. If I just want the violin part exported, I could do that. I'm going to have the main score here uh, exported. And then now here's where we change the uh, format settings. So normally this is uh, set to PDF file or maybe whatever your last export was. So you want to make sure you left click on that. And then I'm going to click on MP3 file. You can also do a wave audio file, although a wave audio file will be higher quality and will be much larger. It will take longer to export. So let's do an MP3 audio file. And then you can choose the sample rate that you would like. Uh, that is typically okay for me. And again, the higher the sample rate, the longer it will take to export. But again, the higher the quality. And then the bit rate there, uh, the default looks good to me as well. Uh, there's an option here that you can open the destination folder on the export. So that will open the folder that the file went to. So I'm going to keep that clicked. So again, you left click there. And then once you have everything correct, you can left click on export. This will bring up another box where you can name your file and make sure that it is an MP3 file that is the file type. And once everything looks okay, you can left click on save. So we'll export the audio and you can see this is taking a little bit of time even for that little measure. So the, the larger your file, the longer the export will take. And so that pulls up the uh, file that the export was sent to. And now I need to find it. So it looks like an audio file. Here we go. MuseScore Studio, how to export MP3 file. I'm going to left click on that and it will open up as an audio file. Perfect. And you can see it added a couple seconds of silence on the end of your file. So that's something to keep in mind as well when you're exporting your uh, MP3 files. Another thing to keep in mind when you're exporting your MP3 files is whatever you hear in playback is going to be what's exported. So when you press play on playback, that's going to be exported onto the MP3 file. And then another thing to keep in mind is that whatever you have in your mixer settings, so if you change the instrument sounds or if you have different things with the attacks or those kinds of things that you changed, um, those settings will be reflected in playback as well. So you now know how to export your MuseScore Studio file into an MP3 audio file. If you made it this far into the video, you likely want to get the most out of MuseScore Studio. I made a complete beginner's guide covering A to Z how to get started with MuseScore Studio. I'll put a link to that video here.